morning, y'all. I'm currently in Port Everglades, and we go into Bimini today for two nights. I'm staying at Resorts World Bimini, and currently in the terminal at Port Everglades for Valeria Cruise Ferry. Big up to them for hosting. <laughs> should be fun i love bimini it's so quiet and relaxing and peaceful but it definitely is a little expensive <laughs> just fyi so far you do need a passport to check in on the valeria same time to board so i will update y'all with everything once we get on So the ride is about two hours long, but let me tell y'all, the ship does get rocky. Like the weather was a little overcast and on the way there, like the water just kept going and moving and going up and down. And um, you could tell some people were sick because like when you go into the bathrooms, you <laughs> could definitely smell it. But just look at this, like, it was rising and falling and I mean for the most part the ride was okay but if you get seasick easily just know that this can happen. So we arrived in Bimini and the water was so blue, so blue, and we hopped on the complimentary trolley that takes you from the dock to Resorts World Bimini, but y'all look at this water. It was so beautiful and stunning and this drive was so serene. I think the drive was about like maybe 10-ish, 12-ish minutes to Resorts World Bimini. And they pretty much stay on the touristy side of North Bimini. We just checked into Resorts World Bimini and this is the room. And we all look at this view in scene. We even have like a little lazy river pool. It's crazy. So as soon as we arrived, it was time to get ready to go out and go to the beach and get some food. We left the resort and headed to like the downtown area. We actually found this taxi cab that charges only $5 one way per person wherever you want to go in North Bimini. And she took us to the little downtown sort of fish fry area where we got like bears and collect rattlers, conk, and food, and I just, I y'all, I could live in Bimini, for real. Then it was time to get some crack conk, and y'all just look at this, this looks so good. I had to hurry up and close it because them flies were savages, but this food was so good along with these rattlers, like I really enjoyed it. And then we headed down to Radio Beach. The water was a little rough, this day um, I've been here before and it was a lot calmer so I really didn't get to go in in but it was still really really pretty and really really blue and just really nice I think only one cruise ship was in Then 
after that, it was time to go leave the beach. And we found this guy who was just driving his golf cart up and down. He also charges like $5 each way to go up and down. So if you don't want to rent a golf cart, you don't necessarily have to. Yeah, just know that there are taxi drivers and they charge affordable prices. But look at these views. Like, it was just beautiful. One thing I realized is there are a lot of murals um, in North Bimini, which is, I really appreciate it. But we did stop at Edith's Pizza and got a lobster pizza, basically. This was so good, y'all. I wish I could eat this every day. <laughs> So I'm typically an early riser when it comes to vacations like I'm the wake up and watch the sunrise type and I had to check out the hotel while it was super quiet um, I, people had told me about this infinity pool that was on the rooftop and let me tell you all the views early in the morning is just like breathtaking like literally nobody was up there except for the cleaning people and they told me that this pool is literally open 24 7 so you could come here anytime man i really wish i had gotten some better pictures here though like it was just so peaceful in the morning they even have like this little deck that you can walk around and look at bimini bay and the houses and the yachts and boats and it was just really really um peaceful then later on that day i got continental breakfast from one of the restaurants in resorts world bimini and just kind of explore the hotel a little bit before heading back out downtown. The hotel has like a number of restaurants, like a Starbucks kiosk um, in the lobby, and then also a casino, a couple of bars. I did not partake in the gambling <laughs> because we were actually headed to um, the beach, Bimini Beach, and we hopped on to Resorts World Trolley, and it took us straight there just the, the taxi driver he was hilarious okay there was way much more <laughs> to his antics than that but anyways he dropped us off back to the fish fry area to get some dinner i'm more of a let's go to the local areas and eat versus sit in the hotel and eat type of girl plus you know they was playing backgammon they had drinks you know it was just a little nice chill vibe that i really appreciated I, and i just wanted to chill so last day in Bimini and we had a good chunk of time before we had to head back to the Bellaria Ferry. And also we had a good amount of time before checking out of the hotel. So we decided to get a quick breakfast from the marketplace that they have in the hotel lobby. They sell drinks, food, sandwiches, salads, breakfast foods, all of that. They also have like this um marketplace area with souvenirs and everything and a starbucks kiosk in the middle of the lobby where they sell like coffees 
danishes and all that. Took a little walk around the resort just to, you know, just take things in. Can't believe I was leaving. It was really, really peaceful here. Like, honestly, like, they didn't really have much going on that particular weekend, but I was just grateful for the rest and just being able to soak in the views and walk along the canal, taking the little fishies <laughs> and whatnot, and just be around like Bahamian people, especially being in the U.S. for so long. Anyways, we stopped at Smitty's, and I've been I was drinking Sands and Galic Rattlers all weekend, all the <laughs> two days. <laughs> I probably would look like a rattler to be honest. But um, I got this huge Kunk Burger. It don't look huge in the video, but it was huge. And I ate all of it. It was really good. And then we went to some other bar, but I can't remember what the name of it is. But we got some Sky Juice that wasn't really all that strong. Then we just kind of explored some more, went back to Radio Beach. Now, today, a cruise ship had dock. I believe it was a Carnival cruise ship. Because there was plenty people out on Radio Beach. Like, it almost gave regatta or beach party or Mother's Day on a Sunday <laughs> holiday weekend where everybody is going to the beach. We went back to the hotel to get our bags and also to get something to eat and drink at the casino bar. Bartenders were really nice, very friendly. And, yeah, that was pretty much it. Except I could not leave Bimini without getting a kunk salad. And this is Joe's kunk salad stand. <laughs> Look how cute. <laughs> so that's what you walk out to when you stay in those doors. So y'all, it was time to leave the trolley parked in front of the ferry and we actually got here kind of early. I won't lie because they had us sitting on this boat <laughs> for a good minute. I think it was because somebody was not on the boat when they were supposed to and we might have left them behind. I'm not 100% sure, but the weather was beautiful and the ride back to Fort Lauderdale was definitely a lot calmer. And that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Would you not do the day trip and instead stay two nights in Bimini? Also comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.